And then I also have this tote. This would consider a tote versus a bag. And I really like the lace on it. That's why I picked it up. And this is by Mona B. But as I've said, it was the lace that I really liked it. So I might just actually keep it for myself because for some reason, I don't really know why there's two things I like. Sack purses I have like to collect and um, cute totes. So I might just keep this for myself. But those are the only purses I found there. Um, a lot of the other purses that were there were not in very good shape. And then also people were just kind of grabbing purses and stuffed animals this time around. I did get a couple shoes. I got these, these are kids, girls size four, and these are Ariats. They are still, I mean, they have been loved, but they still have lots, they're still in very good condition. As I said, these are size four. And then with this bin, one thing about the bin is you would um, go to the shoe bin and you know, a lot of stuff in the shoe bin are not in really good condition. And then I would find one item, but I couldn't find the other item. So since they probably were in a big, big box together and they were just filling up the um, bins with that, I thought, um, let me just hold on to them and see about the next rotation. And sure enough, I think all the shoes I found except for one, um, I found one of them, but I couldn't find the other one until the next bin came out. And then I found those and that was with that one. And then I have these Bionics. Thought they would be um, uh, good for the summertime. They do have some wear on them, but they're actually in still really good condition. And then these are a size six. I got these. And then I found these Echoes there. And if you can actually see them, they don't even look like they're worn on the bottom. So that's one of the reasons why I picked these up because they were in really good shape and I really like the crisscross design on the front. And these are a size, oh, seeing it here, like a 39. I'd have to do the conversion again. But these were in really good shape. So I got these and then I got these cork booties and corks I should say not cork corks booties I have sold corks in the past and have done really good uh, it's been a while a couple years since I've sold corks so I really didn't look up the comps I'll have to go ahead and still look those up but they are in great shape too so I went ahead and picked these up and then I got one more pair of shoes excuse me for bending down like this I got a pair of men's um, Adidas, and they say Neo Adidas on them. So I looked at the comps and it was about $25, $30 for these, and they're really good shape. So I decided to go ahead and pick them up. And as I said, you know, you have, there's what, three bins of shoes out there, and the majority of them are pretty trashed. I don't know if they were trashed when they were donated or because they're in big boxes together, jumbling around, moving around. That's what happened to them. But you know, I'm gonna say 95% of the shoes that are in those bins are pretty well trashed. Now, we do ha I do have a bin that was about an hour and a half from me and they always had great shoes for some reason. Rarely were the shoes trashed there. And, but the problem with that one, it's no longer a bin now. They converted it over to bulk only, so large boxes. So that was actually, it was actually one of those crying moments, not really crying, but sad moments, because they were actually really could get some really nice stuff at that bin. But they, for some reason, decided not to go with the bins anymore, and they decided to go with the bulk. We'll see how that works. I know that the San Francisco one was partial bulk and partial bins, and then for a period of time, they just went to bulk, and now they're partial bins and partial bulk again. So um, I don't know if they didn't see, they get as much traffic, but I do know that when I was at the San Francisco bins that um, you could get the bulk and the bins at the same time when they first had it a couple years ago. And then um, all the people would have their boxes out front and then they'd be going through their boxes and I, they left half the merchandise there. So I'm not really sure what if, um, 
the Goodwill bin, if Goodwill just kind of takes that merchandise and just puts them back in bins and then gives them to people again or not, or they get rid of them, I'm not really sure. I never really asked, but um, we'll see how the one, the other one does. So let's go ahead and see what the clothes that I got. Okay, so this is a, looks like this is a Victoria's Secret um, nightshirt. You can see on the front, it just says Victoria's Secret. Sometimes uh, it's been kind of hit and miss. Some, some um, nightwear with Victoria's Secret, I do okay. I do have a shirt with Victoria's Secret. It's been in my closet and still sitting there, but sometimes I do well. So I did pick up that. And then I got this True Religion sweat jacket. And if you see it on here, it says True Religion and then it has that, the little symbol on there. And then on the back, it says number 71 in true religion. And then this is an extra, extra large. It has the true religion logo. There was a pair of true religion, I think, shorts there. But then when I, um, that was in the same bin as this, but when I looked at the shorts, oh, they were a pair of sweatpants. They had a hole in them, so I didn't get those. I had to throw those back. And then here is, these are men's theory pants, size 33. I did have a pair of theory jeans that sold. Um, it was, they did sit there for a while, but eventually did sell for me. So this might sit for a little while, but I really, really liked it the two functional pockets in the back. I really like the material and the feel of this. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I'd actually been in a bin that had been sitting there for a while. So I'm not really sure. I guess the people out there looking weren't looking for that. And the cabal was not looking for that. So I had this Nike shirt. And it has a pocket in the back right here. And it says dry fit. And this is a size small. And then it has like a mesh strip down the middle right here. No, it's not going to go for much. But... I liked it and it was cute and I liked that blue, so I went ahead and got that. And here is, this is, let's see, this is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. I've had a couple pieces, I've kind of hit and miss with um, Lauren by Ralph Lauren with the pieces that I sell. I've sold some and then some would just kind of sit in my closet, but this is a dress and I really liked this dress. If you can see this, on the neckline, I kind of liked how it on the neckline on here. And then it has a little tie and I just like the pattern. So I decided, I thought this would be a good maybe work dress or even, you know, go out to a cocktail party or something like that would be nice. So, and this is a size 16. So I decided to go ahead and take a chance on that and see what happens. Again, when you're at the Goodwill bins, you can, you're not paying as much. I think for everything I got, I paid $40. So you kind of give you more options to try things out and see how well they would do. And then this was this, I found this with another item right before I was getting ready to leave. This is by Layla. Layla Jade, sorry about that. And this has this stitch um, fix tag on it and also has this tag on it too. It's just like an oversized shirt. Oh, I just, and it's really soft too. So I decided to go ahead and, so because it, again, had the tag, decided to go ahead and pick that up. And then I got two colors of this. Oh yeah, there's the other one. Okay, not, last time I went to the bin, which was about a year ago, I came across the something similar to this with this brand and I decided I looked up the comps they weren't really good so I decided to kind of not get it then I come back this time a year later and I see it again and at this time I even though the comps weren't really that great I love the feel of it it's so soft and I saw two of them so I said what the heck let me go ahead and get that it's just this really and it's by logo logo lounge and it is so so soft and then I kind of like the back on it. I don't know if you can see the sides and the back, like the little darty. So I just, and I have this one. And then I have this one. 
So I got two of them, same ones, different colors. And these are extra large. Now, honestly, I would, if this was um, in my size, I would definitely keep it for myself, but I decided to go ahead and try it out and see what happens with that. And then, okay, so in the beginning when I started reselling, I would pick up Michael by Michael Kors and it never really did very well for me at all. I don't know, I think I've only sold a couple. So normally I try to stay away from that. Seems like in my bins, two things I can find a lot of, Michael by Michael Kors and Tommy Hilfiger. For some reason, I see those all the time, besides obviously seeing um, Walmart brands and Old Navy and Target brands. So normally I stay away from them, but I did find two sweaters that I decided to go ahead and try. I'm probably, wouldn't be listing them until August because it's obviously not the time, but I thought they were cute, so I'm going ahead and bought those. And this is the first one. And the reason I see, I don't know if you can see, it has how the that collar goes down so long. I th kind of thought that was cute. And I like the color, uh, the neutral color. So I decided, so you would kind of wear it like, so I went ahead and, so I've decided to go ahead and try that. And this is a size large. The other one I'll show you in a little while. And then I found, again, you're probably gonna notice a lot of my stuff is kind of more for the winter time because it was just really hard time finding stuff. So I did find some stuff for the summer, but it was really hard. Um, there was not really any shorts there, so I didn't really get a lot. But this is, this is from Free People Intimately. And it's really long. And it's really hard to see, but uh, here's the sleeve. I picked this up. Um, generally, I don't really do well with three people, but I thought it was cute, so I went ahead and got that. And then, so there was a bin, I was next to a bin, and this girl was going through grabbing a whole bunch of stuff, and then I realized that she was grabbing a whole bunch of Adidas. So when I went over to that bin, I kind of started searching through it, because a lot of people don't really dig down deep to see if I can find any Adidas. And I did find a couple Adidas um, things there. And this is the first one. And this one is a size small. Looks like kind of a pair of Adidas type of crop pants. Has pockets on the side. I like the color, black and purple. So I went ahead and picked this one up. That was the first one I did. I think it was like two or three items that was left. Again, I'm not sure how many, there had to be like 15, 20 pieces. Probably the same person gave them all and she just grabbed all of them. But I did find a couple pieces. I will get the other ones in a little while. And then I found these pants and loft pants. Usually I don't pick up loft anymore unless I pick it up for myself because I really like loft for myself and going to work. Um, but these are too small for me. These are, and this is Marissa Skinny. It's a size zero, but I did pick it up because it does have the tag on it. And I also thought this back was really cute. I don't know if you can see that part here. I thought that was cute too. It'd be a really great pair of pants for work. So I went ahead and as I said, it has the tag, so I went ahead and picked that up. Even though I don't normally pick it up for my but for myself. And I said I personally like wearing Loft and Ann Taylor because I feel like it's really good quality and I have many different pieces for myself for work. So I really like them. And then this is, I'm not sure on this one if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm gonna keep it for my daughter because she really liked it and wanted it. Um, so I'll probably end up giving it to her, but um, this is Lucky Blue Jean Jacket, size small. Again, kind of a shorter crop type of jacket, but I will, I'm thinking about it, probably end up giving it to her, but I thought I'd show it to you guys. And then I have these day trip pants. Nope, I don't have day trip pants now. I just realized that the zipper is broken. Oh, I'm a little sad about that because the reason why I picked them up in the first place is that it had said Virgo boot cut and since my sign is Virgo I decided to pick them up but looks like that's not gonna work I didn't notice that after when I was washing it usually I inspect them before I wash and after I wash but for some reason I didn't notice that and then here is size large a Diletta top and I did pick this one up because I really like the layers on the top of it I don't know if you can see that and also is new with tags 
So I went ahead and decided to get that. I thought it was really, really cute. So this is a stiletto top. I don't really see a lot of anthropology there, but I went ahead and did that. And then this is that other one from, it's cut from the cloth and walking shorts. And these are two new with tags. They're also stitch fix. I think there was two. Not really sure if there was anything else in that bin that was stitch fix, but I was getting ready to leave. So I looked around. I didn't really think I saw anything, but who knows? I could have, but. And then this brand, I wasn't familiar with it until my friend gave me a couple pairs of leggings with this because she owns horses. And when she goes horseback riding, she doesn't always want to wear jeans, so she does wear leggings. And she had some extras that she, she had too many of these leggings. So she gave me a couple of them, several of them to sell. And that's how I found out about this. It's called Carrots. And if you look at this tag, and oh, so you can see that. Probably not because my hands are getting in the way. But if you see that, it has a little carrot in there. And it, there is, not how easy to see, but because you ride horses with it, there's a reinforcement right here on the sides. As I said, I wasn't familiar with this brand until she gave me a couple pairs of them. These are just a black pair. She, I think she gave me a couple pairs that were a different pattern that I sold pretty well. So um, I decided to pick this one up and try this and see how that goes. And then here is a Nike men's golf shirt. And the only reason why I picked this one up is because it had new with tags. So I figured I might as well try it, see how it goes. Not really sure about that. And also has the Nike little swoosh right here on the side. So I decided might as well try it, see how that goes. Maybe eBay? I don't know. And then this, I was saying I got a couple items that were in that bin that had it from with all the Adidas, and this was one of them. That's a top. An Adidas top. Now it wasn't until after I picked it up and was looking through my bucket that I realized on it, it says Stella McCartney. So it was a collaboration. I did have a pair of skorts once that I found of this collaboration and I have to say that it, it sell, sold relatively quickly. So I'm um, hopefully that, even though this is a top and if I don't go for much, that it might sell pretty quickly because of the collaboration, but this is really cute. It has the shirt and then the shirt open. But, and then the color, I really like that color. And this is just a Torrid. Normally with me, I usually do pretty well with Torrid. So I got this kind of like just a cami or just a, like a little tank top. You can wear it in summertime, just this in a pair of shorts or a shirt or skirt, or you can wear um, a sweater over it too, both ways. So that's why I picked that. And then Band of Gypsies. This is a Band of Gypsies. I would have sworn like about two or three years ago, I watched a YouTube channel and um, somebody said they sold pretty well. But um, the two pieces I've ever found, I don't didn't sell very well at all. So normally I don't get it, but I really thought this dress was really cute. So I decided to get it. See the bottom part of the dress right here. I thought that was cute. The sleeves. And actually just, if you can see, it just buttons in the front and then nothing else. It doesn't button all the way out, just this part, which is in the middle part. So I thought it just seemed like a nice dress that would be really great to wear for the summertime. So we'll see what that happens. It doesn't weigh that much. So it didn't cost me a lot of money, so I figured I might as well take my chance. And then here's a pair, not a pair, athleta top. Again, I really like that purple. Purple is my favorite color. What I really like is if you can see, it is the back design on there. I really, really like that. That's why I picked this one up. And this is athleta small. So I got that. And here's a something. So I've never heard about heard Bobby Brooks before. I know. I don't know why, but I had never heard of her. Uh, but a friend, a co-worker, my husband gave me some clothes. And one of them was a dress by Bobby Brooks. 
and I listed on Macari and Poshmark and eBay and the person on Macari bought it within just like an hour. So I thought I would try it again. Who knows? And now this is not a summer item, so it would take a little bit longer. It's kind of like a leisure shirt. So I figured I might as well try it, see how it goes. Certainly couldn't hurt. And here I have Fig and Flowers. I really, really liked the design on it. And I really, really liked this lace on here. And this is an extra large. It is sheer, but I'm thinking you can actually wear this over a bathing suit. So I really, really like that. So I got that. And then this is a Banana Republic Lux Fun shirt. So it's just a basic red shirt. You notice? And it would be great. Look really good with just a pair of black pants or even blue pants, blue jeans or something like that. So just some basics, but the material of it was really, really nice. So I decided to go ahead and pick up that. And I found this Patagonia jacket for a youngin. And I actually, last time I went to the Goodwill bin a year ago, I found something similar, but it was in brown. You see the little hat, it has the little ears on it. As I said, I sold the last one, I think about $20, $25, and that one was in brown. So I got this one, we'll see how it goes. Here is a Nike jacket. And this one is a size small. I really like that. I'm not sure you can see that. We do have this, this really go this ventilation or something on here, this pocket on the sides. That was so what normally happens is I call them the cabal because they're about a group of 30 people. This is when I went last year. And they all kind of work together to get items in. It's not a lot of the stuff they're not getting the exact for most of the part they're not getting the exact same thing as me, but they do like to they what they do is they go and um, I found out they go Sunday through Friday to the outlet every single day and they try to, they like to pick up Nikes, Adidas, you know, Under Armour, a lot of sports stuff. They'll pick if they can get Lululemon, they'll pick up Lululemon. They do like um, pink. In Victoria's Secret and they'll pick up Miss Me jeans and then they'll go to the flea market on Saturdays and sell their items on Saturdays and then they'll start the process over again but they usually will try to kind of crowd you out right now our Goodwill outlet is um, short on people so a lot of time they're not uh, dumping out the bags that they've gotten so they'll, they'll just grab up all the bags and take them and put them in their carts and stuff like that but they're not really there on Saturday because they're at the flea market. So I was able to get some, I'm not, Nikes and Victoria's Secret items because they weren't there to grab them. And a lot of the people that were there were the young men and for, they do like to get jackets and things like that. But they, for some reason, they seem to stay away from Nike, um, but they're always, the most things that they're looking for the single stitch shirts. So, and they'll only usually stay, actually all the people will only stay in a bin for like a, a minute or less. So if you kind of dig down, you can find some stuff. And I got this because Disneyland is gonna be opening again for out people that are out of the state, but even people in the state. And this is a Nike, no Nike, why did I just say Nike? Because I was just showing a Nike. This is Minnie Mouse. It was a Disneyland little windbreaker. And it has her colors right there. So I thought maybe this would do well for somebody that's going to be traveling to Disneyland Parks on that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I thought that would do well for somebody that's going to be maybe taking a trip to Disneyland since it's all opened up and they'll have that jacket before they go. Here is one of the few shorts, another one of the few shorts that I got. This is Joe's jeans shorts and it's a size 25. Um, again, it was a hard time finding shorts, but with this one, it did have the distress look. That's what I really liked about it. So I went ahead and picked these up from that. Here is another Nike jacket. And this one is size medium. 
So it's kind of more of a fitted jacket than the other one. There was another that was Nike, so that's cool. And I have Social Standard by Sanctuary. I'm not really sure why I keep getting Sanctuary. For some reason, it just keeps attracting myself to it, even though I don't really do very well with selling this stuff. But these are High Rise Skinny from Sanctuary, and they're the Social Standard Sanctuary. I got those. We'll see how they do. Do have another pair that's not doing too well, so we'll see. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this for my children or if I'm going to sell. Actually, I thought I had thrown it back because I was looking in through my when I got home. I was looking through the bags and I couldn't find this one because I was going to show it to my son. But we're big Marvel fans, and I did find a Marvel shirt and I gave it to my son um, who wanted it. But I found this there too, and again I thought I had thrown it out, but I guess I didn't. And if you can see that. If you look at the back, it says Black Panther on it. So I thought I had put it back, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this or if I'm just gonna give it to my son or not. I'm gonna think about that. And then I have this pink Victoria's Secret jacket. See that? It has kind of like a shimmery metallic thing to it. It has the little guy and sequins and then on the back, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got pink on there. So I picked this up. And this one was a size large. Almost done here, sorry about that guys. I know it's kind of long. And this was a sleeveless piranha shirt. This is size medium, right here, shirt, sleeveless shirt, so I got that. And then I got this Athleta shirt, tank top I should say, but I really, really love the color and I love the design. And then this is what the back looks like. And this one is a size extra large. I decided to go ahead and pick that up because I like that. And one more, and I think this is the last one, but here is one more Nike Windbaker jacket. This one is a 2X zip it up. This one does not have any type, but I thought that was cute. So I did find, I found actually four Nikes, but one of them, the zipper was all broken, so I had to throw that one away. I found these Bowden pants. They are size 10 regular has that Bowden pattern inside of it. I really, really thought it was a cute color. And then they have the cuffed right here. Don't know if you can see this. And that, I thought this was really cute, so I went ahead and got this too. Thought I'd take my chances with that. And then I thought this was, this next one I thought was, I just loved the colors. If it was my size, I would have kept it, but it was not my size. I think it's an extra large. But this and doesn't and has not it still has the liner, so it has never been used either. So this is a mod cloth bathing suit. I'm just really really love see the back on here, and then it has this little tie on here. I just I said I really if this was my size I would definitely keep it for myself but it's not. So I think this is really, really cute. Just to have a couple more, you guys. Hi, Jewel, really will say so. Only a couple more. Okay, so I found a pair of Nike shorts too, running shorts. They do have the liner inside them. They're in really great shape and they are a size small, just basic black with that little trimming around them. So I think those like just three pairs of shorts is all I was able to find there. And then these, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these or keep these for myself. These are um, cabbie jeans, curvy skinny. I picked them up because it might be something I'd be interested in myself. And I really, really, really liked that little pattern on them. So I still haven't decided if I'm gonna keep those for myself or if I'm gonna sell them. And here is a Lucy top. And this top is size large. And I, if you see right here, 
it has the little drawstring right here. And then if you see, I like how kind of the sides, curvy of the sides on the side front. So this is Lucy size large. And three, four more items, four more items. Here is new with Kay, Golden State Warriors. Normally I don't pick up um, sports things, but it was new with Tags. So I went ahead and decided to pick that up. And this one, I'm not sure if I want to give it to my daughter or keep it for myself, for us to sell it. But this is a Nike girls pullover jacket. I really like the colors and the swirls. So I, I mean, I'm probably going to give it to her, but maybe we'll see. And we have the other Michael Kors. And the reason why I picked this one, I'll explain it to you now, is the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that, but that fringe, I thought that was really, really cute. And it was really, really different. So even though I usually don't pick up Michael Kors, I picked up for this one, picked both of them because I thought they were unique. They were together, so I'm assuming it was the same person. But that fringe is what I really liked, so that's why I picked that one up. And here's my last item. And this is an Adidas kind of pullover. And this is size. medium and I just thought it was cute and I kind of like if you see that stripe that kind of kind of goes down the back I really thought that was unique and it has the pockets in the front normally I don't get this many items but as I said I was there from and that's it I was there from 8 to 4 so I was there for a long period of time and that is why I picked up so many items but thank you for sticking around um, the next time, the next one I'll be doing is some local thrifting I did, and then a couple items of some of people had given me. So hope to see you again. Hope you enjoyed yourself and have a great day. Bye.